The fog is rather thicker than I imagined, Hubert. And if I'm not mistaken... Yes, I agree. Dark magic is assuredly the cause. We already know those who slither in the dark have had comings and goings at House Row. I doubt one of them is here. But there could be a... Then we had best leverage our own assets. Why is everyone whispering? Is the enemy aware of our coming? It's entirely possible, yes. They could be directly on top of us, and we would scarcely know it. So yes, let us all stay on our toes. Prudent of you to bring it up, Ferdinand. Ah, thank you. I, I mean, thank you. <laughs> oh, why so quiet, Caspar? Normally, you'd be at the front of the line making all kinds of racket. What? You think I'm the kind of guy who'd get all scared and give our position away? <laughs> Sorry, I'm not afraid of anything. Hmm. You're unusually quiet, Petra. Did you not get enough sleep or something? I am listening to our surroundings. Nothing has more danger than fog. One incorrect step and you will be losing your life. <laughs> Can we all try to relax? I'm pretty sure we're alone out here, so let's just calm down before we wear ourselves out. Sometimes you all make me think we're still back at the Academy. Is that supposed to be a compliment? Well, great. I was hoping to finish this before reinforcements arrive, but so be it. I will prioritize locating Lord Lenato. Can I leave the Imperial troops to you? I know what to do, so let me do it already. Just mind this fog and make sure you don't attack the wrong side. That goes for you as well. Let us see if you can live up to your reputation. For the future that's yet to come. I shall make my dream a reality! Another step toward victory. Let's get this over with.
closer we... Get the denser the fog. I can barely make out my own feet. Which will prove useful for Lord Lenot. As he possesses low numbers, the man will doubtless take any damage. We need to find him before the kingdom dies and take him into our protection. Lord Lenato will surely be hiding in one of these strongholds awaiting rescue. There is not a question of can. Only a matter of forward march! Begin. I am advancing. Here I go. No, Miss Everyone, to prepare to be amazed. Ready or not, here I just do as I planned. Now let us be off. It's Bernie's time to shine. All right, let's. I will gladly handle this. Let's march. The frog will provide. There is not a question of can. Only a forward march. If we can, send whatever troops we can. Prepare to be amazed. Go for it. Begin. The Sky Spirit watches over me. There is not a question of can. Leave this to me. Here I go. No mistakes. They must learn who they're up against. Spare. I have this. The Imperial Army is here. It's Bernie's time to shine. Sure hope this goes okay. It's Bernie's time to shine. Sure hope this goes... All troops, ready yourselves to intercept! You will pay in blood for invading the lands of Fargus!
amazed. Go for it. Begin. The Sky Spirit watches over me. There's not a quick. Leave this to me. Just do it. I shall take it from here. handle this. Let's march. Just do as I planned. Now let us be off. Watch this. How am I being bested by the likes of you? I got this. Here I go. No mistakes. Everyone to me. Advance. Take a breather. I see a mage. Do you think he's responsible for all this? <laughs> Not a problem. Move out. I will gladly handle this. Orders received. Do as I planned. I shall take it from here. It's for sure hope this goes okay. Not a problem. I'm here to help. Here I go. No, everyone. They sniffed out the spellcaster. This fog lifts. Lord Bernardo will have nowhere to hide. Let us bring this stronghold down efficiently. Guard this place with your lives. We're sheltering deep in the eastern wood. Here are they must learn who they're up against. Not a problem. A 
I've got it. Please hurry to him. We have our location. Let us not waste any time getting there. I'm bringing it down. Travel before me. This stronghold will fall. I got this. Not a problem. Move out. Take this. Thank you. For the love of sight, all the citizens are safe. I will gladly handle the orders received. Begin. The Sky Spirit watches over me. I'll take over. Here I go. No mistakes. I'll provide some protection. Question of can. Leave this to me. Prepare to be amazed. Go for it. Thanks for the rescue. <laughs> That's one task on the to-do list. Now we just have to deal with the thing. <laughs> So I live to see another day. I knew the goddess would be better than this. I don't like how close we cut this, but I'm glad you're safe. Now we can focus on the rest of the fight. Now that Lord Madonna is ready, we'll finally dispense with the magic. Hey! The fog is gone! Now we don't have to keep running into things. How could you betray his majesty, Lenato? How could you do this to me? Prepare to be amazed. Go for it. Just do as I... I shall take it from here. I will gladly handle this. Orders... Starting to worry, we would never be able to put our archers to this. Ash is your adopted son, and family should not fight family. Let us persuade him to lay down his arms instead. Now, rain arrows down upon them. choice to come here, then I must not wait. Here I, they must learn who they're... I will order... Let's do 
Question of can. Only a matter of will. Leave this to me. Not a problem. I've got this. I will gladly handle this. Orders received. Watch this! That was close! We're really in a tight spot here. Stop it, Ash. You're throwing your life away. You want Lord Lenato carrying that weight around for the rest of his life? I... You're right. I surrender. Forgive me, Ash. I beg you. I could not bear to lose another son. Our goal here is achieved. Now we hunt down any kingdom stragglers and what? Why? Your fun ends here. to me begin the sky spirit watches over me just I shall take it from here prepare to go for it You fight for the Empire now. Just draw your weapon already. You and me have a score to settle. Well, couldn't hurt. Monstrous strength! You're done! I better get in there instead of letting the kid do all the work. Count me in, Captain. I may be a new arrival, but no one can arrival my enthusiasm. Oh, 
target the enemy commander instead of this. Doing so will force them to retreat. I know we were told not to engage. Here I go. No mistakes. They must learn who they're up against. I will gladly handle this. Orders received. Just do as I planned. I shall take it from here. Begin. The Sky Spirit watches over me. It's Bernie's time to shine. Sure hope this goes... There's not a question of can. Leave this to me. But isn't this a great opportunity to see how much you've grown? I admit, you have a better handle on that strange power of yours. Witness my truth! Soldiers lack back.
Captain! Gerald's mercenaries, retreat! Well done. We have kept his lordship safe. This victory will greatly further our conquest. Well, we did it. Yet you're still the saddest looking fighter in camp. Why the long face? Because we only barely got the job done. Everything else was a miserable failure. Sure, we saved Lenato and put Gerald and his mercenaries to rout. But we let the kingdom's troops get away in the process. And if that wasn't bad enough, I failed to beat the Ashen Demon. Basically, we lost in nearly every way you can lose. Wrong. You were hired to do a job, and you did it. And in the process, you've received a valuable reminder about the unique danger the Ashen Demon poses. You're right. I can't believe one fighter could turn the tide of an entire battle like that. Precisely. They're surely going to continue standing in our way, so do try to dig a little deeper the next time you square off. Then I guess my goal hasn't changed. Thanks for the encouragement. We must make haste. There's not a moment to lose. Understood. Randolph, take your troops to Orion Road and await further instruction from Hubert. Leave it to me, Your Majesty. Why is everyone so worked up? What happened? It seems the troops we stationed in the Alliance are in danger, and serious danger at that. Gloucester and the other lords betrayed them, and now they have been completely cut off. No. The word betrayal suggests they were on our side in the first place. But I think we can safely assume that was never their intent. This whole time, they were simply waiting for us to move the rest of our army toward the kingdom. As soon as they saw an opportunity, they cut off routes to the Great Bridge of Murden and Garrick Mach. Now that our troops are trapped on Alliance lands, House Regan and House Gloucester have them surrounded on both sides. It's doubtless one of Claude's clever little stratagems, and it stinks. I don't understand. Everyone is aware of the troubled history between Regan and Gloucester. Unless... This supposed feud is little more than a... I don't understand. Everyone is aware of the troubled history between Regan and Gloucester. Why would they decide to bury the hatchet now? Unless... This supposed... Perhaps it is. But perhaps not. For all we know, he wants us to overthink the situation and make a greater mistake. We better stay on our toes. This all fell together too perfectly to be some kind of unhappy accident. I suppose. All I know is that our reinforcements will never make it there in time. The direct route east risks running into both Kingdom and Alliance forces. But if we attempt to skirt around them, we will all be aged in grey before we ever reach Gloucester. Which means our only option is marching south. We'll regroup on this side of the Aramid River, retake the Great Bridge of Murden to cover our backs, and then cut through the enemy cordon. That doesn't sound a whole lot faster. Will our troops be able to hold out that long? I would say no, but these are no ordinary soldiers. They are commanded by our greatest warrior, Count Leopold von Berglitz, the Minister of Military Affairs, and a man who has never lost even one battle. If anyone can rally our troops and convince them to hold... What a brilliant trap. The Regan boy's even craftier than they say. I agree, sir. 
Even Count Gloucester's inept army seems to be acting with remarkable discipline. But will the reinforcements reach us in time? Hmm. The real question is, are they coming at all? Because if they're on the way, they'll make it in time. So long as I draw breath, they will make it. So count on them coming. Her Majesty would never abandon us. Yes, sir. Soldiers of the Empire, I know fear gnaws at your hearts. And that's nothing to be ashamed of. Don't run from this fear. Embrace it. Take measure of the enemy that surrounds us and look them square in the face. Yes, we're outmaneuvered and face a vicious fight ahead. But pray to the goddess for protection, and her fire will fill your soul and temper your resolve. Our only duty here is to stay alive, be fearful of death, and let not a single soldier fall needlessly. Raise your voices with me now. Let me hear your courage. We will not lose. <laughs> Wow, these guys aren't backing down. If anything, they actually seem more excited than before. How is that possible? They're completely surrounded. No one will ever reach them in time. Yes, but Count Burglis is their commander. And I'm guessing a lot of those troops are veterans of the Dagda and Bridget War. During that conflict, the Count's troops held off wave after wave of Dagda soldiers right to the very end. Our force must look tame in comparison. Okay, so what now? I wanted this to be clean, but we're looking at a complete bloodbath on both sides. What I want is the upper hand against the Empire, not these people's lives. And there's honor in that, but I don't think they're going to play along. They don't have to accept every part of it. I just thought they might be, you know, scared? Well, so be it. They may have boundless courage, but they don't have boundless food. Count Burglies wants me to tighten the snare, that's exactly what I'll do. Scarlet Blaze. Bridge of Betrayal. The Empire achieves early success in the war thanks to House Gloucester a noble alliance house whose vows of allegiance and safe passage were key to the quick capture of Garrig Mach. But Count Gloucester breaks his oath and turns on Burglies' troops, trapped in hostile territory with their supply routes severed. The Imperial Army's outlook appears bleak. I fear I may have miscalculated, my son. How can that be possible, Father? We have the enemy surrounded. Yes, and they have yet to give a damn. Time grows short, and soon Edelgard's reinforcements will descend upon the Alliance. Then we will hold them off at the Great Bridge. And they will find another way. If they manage to take even one of the Aramid River's crossings, they can break through our ranks. And while that may not spell immediate defeat, it will dash any hopes of Count Burglis's surrender. Eventually, Edelgard's army will wash over the land, and then, my son, we will be defeated. Speak plain, Father. I beg of you. What does this mean for House Gloucester? Do not fret, Lawrence. This was a leap of faith we had to take to better our territory's fortunes. When Claude came to me with this offer, I determined the reward to be worth the risk. If the gamut fails, so be it. All it means is that our house will have to swear allegiance to the Empire. Edelgard will never settle for such. She will demand... Oh, Father. No! I am proud of you, my son. You have grown into a man strong and wise enough to lead our house. Is there nothing that can be done? What of your dream to claim the Alliance leadership from House Regan? 
It is your house now. You determine our path. Besides, when the dust finally settles from this war, there may not be an alliance to lead. So I am to submit to the Empire and carve out as big a place for our family as I can? Is that it? You would have me put an end to the Leicester Alliance? Perhaps my praise of your wisdom was ill-advised. You get ahead of yourself, Lawrence. We bend the knee only if we lose, not before. And as you said, we may yet be able to drive back the Emperor's reinforcements and win the day. Always think two steps ahead, my son. Be clever. Survive. That is the lesson I seek to impart. I had best go prepare for my final battle as Count Gloucester. However this plays out, look for a way for our house to prosper and seize it, Lawrence. Seize it! That is how Irvin Fritz Gloucester fights, and it is how you must fight as well. Well, we managed to slog our way to the encampment. Now we just have to finalize our plan. Why is it so important to hold part of the Aramid Riverbank again? I mean, wouldn't it make more sense to cross over into Alliance territory before it's too late? If we do, we risk the enemy cutting off our retreat. We are here to break their siege, not fall prey to one. If we don't conduct this rescue carefully, we'll be worse off than we started. We must be smart. And that means establishing at least one bridgehead in addition to the Great Bridge of Murden. Yeah, okay. That makes sense. The Minister is a general of much endurance. He will be holding out until we arrive. He is more than a warrior and a maker of strategies. It would lack wisdom to be making an enemy of him. Yep, that's my father. No one can beat him. I just hope I can be half the warrior he is one day. I think even one and a half Burgleses would be more than enough. Not that it's any of my business. So, what are we to do about House Gloucester? They have indicated a willingness to swear fealty, for whatever that pittance of a promise is worth. That leaves only Phlegathon and Ordelia. And I doubt very much that anyone would take us to task for dismantling them. The head of House Ordelia is one of the five great lords. Dismantling them, as you say, would hamper Her Majesty's ability to rule effectively in the future. But consider, for example, why we chose not to dismantle House Ire. Because I belong to House Ire, and you did not have to. Ah, of course. You are happy so long as they install successors who are willing to toe the line. That is the plan, yes. House Phlegathon, however, must be disposed of. Their lord, Acheron, has leveraged his control of the Great Bridge to do whatever he well pleases. I have a suspicion the Alliance desires him gone as badly as we do. Lawrence Gloucester and Lysithia von Ordelia were Her Majesty's schoolmates, yes? They may be more willing to listen to reason than the others. Sure, but Claude went to the Officer's Academy, too. And he's taken a firm stance against the Empire. Do you really think this can be handled via diplomacy? That will depend on precisely what their demands are. But first, we must retake the Great Bridge and extricate Count Burgleys and his troops. Let us focus our energies on that for the time being. Agreed. And it would behoove us all not to overlook how devious Claude can be just because we went to the Academy together. If he's not willing to come to the table, I won't hesitate to meet him on the battlefield instead. I won't hold back either. Sometimes you have to kill old friends in this line of work. That's just how it is. Pardon me, 